Hello, superheroes and supervillains. It's your friend, Sean PVS 101. Welcome back to another new movie review on my YouTube channel. And today's new movie review, after I saw in Silver Spot Cinemas, today's new movie review on my channel I'm going to review is the new installment of the Ghostbusters series, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Yes, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do a movie review on Ghostbusters Afterlife. Th th this movie was directed by Jason Reitman, the the son of the original Ghostbusters, and this movie was released in 2021. And this movie stars Paul Rudd, Make Megan Grace, Finn Wolfhart, and Kate Kerr. And so the plot for Ghostbusters Afterlife, after being abandoned from their home, a single mom and her two kids went to a small town called Oklahoma. They discovered a connection to the original Ghostbusters and the secrets of their grandfather from, from, from Afterlife. And now it's up with the two kids trying to be the new Ghostbusters along with their new friends and trying to stop the original villain, um, the villain from the first movie, um, and that's the plot for this movie, S nothing is spoiled, so, after I watch this movie at Silver Spot Cinemas, what's my opinion on this movie? In my personal opinion on Ghostbusters Afterlife, after I walk out of this movie, I really love this movie. I really enjoy Ghostbusters Afterlife, in my personal opinion. This movie was an apology letter after the disastrous rotten reboot of 2016's Ghostbusters Answered the Call. Five years later, when the original director, when the director, Jason Reitman, who was the son of the original two Ghostbusters director, coming back... To direct this movie along with the new director, the son of the original director, Jason Reitman, wanted to create his own ver version of Ghostbusters, but a follow up to the original movies. So, after those trouble delays, the movie is finally out in theaters, and I really like this movie. It is a great follow up to the 1984 film, which this movie felt like a Ghostbusters follow-up sequel instead of the 1989 movie. I'm surprised there's no connect, there's no mention of Oscar, Yamosh, and other characters from the second movie. This is a follow-up to the 84 movie, which I'm surprised by the way. So yeah, are there any negatives? Tiny bit, but I still love this movie. So yeah, let's begin to the positives. So the story for this movie, I love the story. I felt like, this movie felt like you're watching an actual Ghostbusters follow-up instead of the 1989 movie, which I'm so happy. I really love this movie more than the 1989 version because this is, this is a real Ghostbusters sequel. I really love the story of this movie because I just really love the two mom. I love them. It's about a mom who abandoned her home along with her two kids, moved to a town called Oklahoma. But then the two kids, including Phoebe, the main character, discovers her grandfather Egon's legacy. How be how he becomes a Ghostbusters, and while she's and while she discovers her grandfather's legacy of a Ghostbusters. I really love the storytelling of this movie. It is clever, creative, intense, scary, funny, and sometimes emotional and heartwarming. This is by far the most emotional and heartwarming Ghostbusters movie, which I love, by the way. So yeah, I really love this movie. The I really love this movie a lot more than Ghostbusters 2, 1989, in my opinion, because this is the actual Ghostbusters sequel you wanted. So, yeah. Also, the visual effects. I love the visual effects. The visual effects are spectacular. I really love this movie features both CGI and practical effects. I'm really happy, by the way, because the original two direct... The original director is coming back to direct this movie, along with the new director, who is the son of the original director... Jason Reitman, which Jason Reitman is the son of the original, who was the son of the the original two 
the original director of Ghostbuster movie. You know what I mean? That You know that kid from the birthday party scene? He is the director of this movie, which I'm surprised, by the way, because he did a great job of making this movie come to life with both CGI and practical effects. I really love... I really love the new areas of this movie because we're not we're no longer in New York City because I'm so happy we're in a new town called Oklahoma, which I am very happy. This is not New York City, by the way, which I don't want this movie to take place in New York City for the third time, but I like to go to a new place outside of New York City, Oklahoma, which I'm very happy, by the way. I really love the new areas of Oklahoma from the town to the shopping center of shopping center of Walmart to the to Egon's old house to the to the to the mine shaft where the villain um Gozer lives. So yeah, I love the new areas when the Ghostbusters franchise take it to a whole new direction. Also I really love the new ghost. I really love both I love the new entities of both CGI and Especially practical effects. I'm very happy there's some practical effects in Afterlife. Thank God. Also, the CGI was excellent. Better than the 2016 CGI. Which that movie... Which the that movie has awful CGI. But here, it was a complete opposite. So yeah, I love the CGI and practical effects of Ghostbusters Afterlife. Also, the action scenes are awesome. I love the action scenes. Like in the opening scene when Egon was escaping from the from the mine shaft of Gozer, I love the opening scene from the chase scene. It was intense and give you a your seat. Also, I really love the the chase scene when Phoebe, her brother, and her friends are trying to bust a ghost, like a blue one, in the town of Oklahoma. I really love the chase scene when they try to bust a ghost for the first time. I really love that scene a lot. Also, I really love some of the busting moments, including the climax. I won't spoil what happens. You will love this movie because you might be so happy to see some old characters, see some new characters, and especially the return of the old characters, which I'm very happy because this movie is the Force Awakens of the Ghostbuster franchise. Yeah, I gotta say, this movie is the Ghostbusters this movie is the Force Awakens of the Ghostbuster franchise and the X-Men Days of Future Past of the Ghostbuster movies because of bringing the old characters back and introduced to the new cats, both in one, which I love, by the way, because it gave me vibes from, from that film. So yeah, I l so yeah, I love all the characters. None of the characters I hate. Let's talk about the main character, Phoebe. I really love Phoebe. Who, who is the main character of this movie. I love Phoebe. She is such a very great, well-written character because of... She is not a Mary Sue. She's a very well-written character. I really love her. She's trying to become more complex and thoughtful when she's trying to become a Ghostbuster like her grandfather. When she's trying to discover what's going on in his past. I love this character so much. She is such a great character, written character. Better than the female cast in the 2016 version also we have phoebe's brother played by finn wolfert i love finn wolfert you know the kid from stranger things who was a ghostbuster in that from that show and the kid from it i'm so happy he in this movie because i love phoebe's brother played by finn wolf he is so likable and funny he's trying to be like bill murray in this but as a young kid also we have Popcats, I love Popcats. Popcats is so likable and funny. I just really love their friendship with Popcats and Phoebe. I love their friendship. They're very great friend chemistry as friends. Also, we have Finn Wolf, his character's girlfriend, who is Phoebe's brother's his girlfriend. I like her. She is nicely written. And also, we have her Phoebe's mom. I really love Phoebe's mom. She is a great written mother character. I just really love their relationship with with Phoebe and Finn Wolf's character. I like her. I like their mother character. She is so likable and well written. Also, we have Paul Rudd's character. I love Paul R Paul Rudd's character. He stole the show. He is so funny. I love Paul Rudd. He is so funny. Also, 
he's I love Paul Rudd as an actor but in here he is so hilarious also we have the old we have the old actors coming back like Dan Aykroyd as Ray Stantz, Peter Venkman as Peter Venkman played by Bill Murray and the original at Wilson, Wilson played by the original actor. I'm so happy they reprised their roles, which I won't spoil what happens, but you will love these old actors coming back to play these characters one more time, which this movie gave me become the ghost, the Force Awakens of this movie, in my opinion. Also, let's talk about the original villain, Gozer. I love Gozer in this movie. I'm happy she's back because of the original movie, I love Ghost Gozer in the original movie. She is awesome. And here she was great. Also, yeah. Overall, is this movie is amazing? Yes. I still like I still love this movie, but I have some quick tiny issues. Like some of the story can be a little rehash of the first film, but that was a long story. It's not a rehash of the first film. It's trying to be different. Oh, oh overall, guys, I have no negatives. Overall, I love this movie because I really love Ghostbusters Afterlife. This is an apology letter after the rotten reboot of Ghostbusters Answer the Call, which I'm glad the women women's version doesn't exist. This one exists. This movie is a follow-up to the great 84 film with nice original writing, lovable characters, great CGI and practical effects, and great action. Overall, nothing to say. I give this movie a 10 out of 10. Well, that's for my movie review on Ghostbusters Afterlife. Stay tuned for my ranking video of the, the film series and get totally wicked.